Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I want to shoot a day in the life type of video. I've tried this over on the other channel. The link to my other channel will be down in the description. Um, I want to try it today, I have a lot to do. I need to go do my every other day two mile walk. And that's where I find a lot of materials many times to go ahead and make some of these videos. Then I need, I've got the last of the weed block fabric to put down. I think, I, I think that'll look pretty cool if I do it in time lapse. And then we'll go ahead and do some, we'll practice some fire techniques. So let's go ahead and get started. I, I do want to, let's go ahead and try out two videos ago I made some, I made a silent video where I made two batches of charred punkwood. Let's go ahead and try some of that out this morning. So we'll start the morning with fire techniques get what I need to get done and then we'll come up with some other fire technique to end the video. I realize some of you are only here just for the fire techniques and this isn't going to be your style of video. Um, that's okay. Uh, I'm supposed to make videos that are appealing to the audience and so I know that these type of videos don't get the kind of views that I like but I like making them. I like close-ups. I guess if you've been here very long you see that I love close-ups. I love time lapse, so let's just see what we can come up with today. Let me get set up and I want to try out some more of that charred punkwood. Now, yes, I could cast sparks down inside of that char tin, but I kind of like to lay out my char material and cast sparks down on top of it. Now, if I get any of these little pieces ignited, which is very common, I'll pick that little piece up and put it on a bigger piece. That will ignite the pine needles a lot easier. I'm always using the uh, flint. Let's go ahead and try a piece of quartz this morning. Let me find one that's got a good sharp edge on it. ignited. And I just laid it on that bigger piece. That's some good charred punkwood. And I've had it in that char tin the whole time. It should have been in a sealed jar though, you know what? Because it can sit there and absorb moisture if it's not sealed up. But it's still, you know, good and reactive. Let's go ahead to the walking trail.
Don't you think these people was pretty unhappy when they decided four or five years ago to put this walking trail through their neighborhood? Look, they took up almost half the road. I'm sure they weren't very happy. Would you buy a home right on the side of a walking trail? Side of the railroad track, half a street because you got a walking trail. And I guess these were like mill houses that they remodeled. I think they made a mistake. I don't think anybody's gonna want any of these houses. Although that one says it's sold, but that could be an advertising ploy. All right, here's my turnaround point. In the middle of the cemetery. There's a Gatorade bottle. I know they work. All right, here's a piece just laying underneath these water oak trees. It's not going to be ideal since it was laying on the ground. But good punk wood is spongy like this if you can see it. You squeeze in on it and it'll spring right back out. Yeah, that should be all we need right there. Start a fire. I'm probably not even going to use the Snapple bottle, it's so cloudy. Because I know that the Gatorade bottle works. Alright, I'm going back to the house and lay down some weed block fabric. Well, it always takes more than you think. This is what I put down yesterday. You can imagine cutting in around all those bushes was aggravating. And I ran out of fabric. So, we'll finish it tomorrow. I got a fire making video to make. I don't have time for any of this stuff. ready to get on to the next fire technique. I found this punk wood on the trail. It was up underneath some water oak trees. I don't know why it was just there on the ground by itself, but it seems to be pretty good stuff. And of those two bottles, this Gatorade bottle really cleaned up nice. Let me go ahead and try to get the solar ignition before the phone gets too hot and cuts off. Now, it is not my intention to show survival techniques. What I show are hobby fire making techniques. But these techniques can be easily adapted to be survival techniques or with a lot of creative thinking. And as usual, you want to find the hottest focal point on your finger before you do anything else. Right there. Don't know if my camera is going to be able to take being out in the sun this long. It's still darkening up. I'm starting to see smoke. It's just a matter of getting getting it dialed in perfectly. The smartest thing to do from here is to keep that ember going and to set the camera over in the shade. All 
Let me set the camera in the shade before it cuts off. Now, no, this isn't a survival way to do it, but still it's pretty amazing to just get uh, freshly found materials off the ground and be able to make a fire look. I could, now all I have to do is just set my leaves on fire. I wasn't expecting this to go to flames. Pretty nice when you can't blow it out. I snuffed it out. Hi, right, Joe. That'd probably go back to flames again. I enjoyed it. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. I thought this was low-grade punk wood, but if it'll go to flame on its own, it's better than what I usually use. There it goes to flame again. I don't know if you can see that flame. I can just barely see it from my angle. We'll catch you on the next one.